Adventure games often frustrate me, especially ones with old school leanings, but for some reason I keep coming back despite the fact that I often get burned, and I got to thinking about why. It's not because I like to get frustrated, obviously. There's something more to it, and I think I figured out what. I think it's because they do something, adventure games do some things really well, and they give me something that I don't often get from other games. So the adventure game genre is a really good framework, I think, for developing deep story, deep characters, and a really good sense of place. In a world where many AAA games feature an explosion as a protagonist, it's really refreshing to have games that just say, slow down and explore, click on things, talk to people, understand what's around you. It's really great. Typically, in an adventure game, to solve puzzles, you need to talk to people. You have to engage with them, you have to understand them, you have to look at the environment and try to think of ways in which the environment can influence the people, or the people can influence the environment, you know, combinations of these things. Which is great for developing characters and a sense of place. So one example, one of the biggest things you can do in an adventure game is examining objects around you. And this is perfect for, both for world building, I mean, obviously it's good for world building because you're looking at things in the environment, and by understanding them, it, you know, builds out the sense of place. But it's also really good for character development. For example, let's look at this dictaphone, for example. Normally in a game, objects such as this would just be things that are just static. They're, they're there, and that's it. All you can do is look at them, and that's it. But typically in adventure games, you can examine them. We saw this in a flea market, and Joey bugged me until I bought it. He still won't tell me why. And all of these comments from the person that you're, the person who's doing the examining of these objects, is incredibly valuable for character development. Let's look at this calendar, for example. I stopped updating this calendar around the time Joey came into my life. There's probably a connection there. Let's look at these books. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making that mistake again. All of that that you just heard is all character development. And this here. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making that mistake again. That's a reference to a past game in the Blackwell series. So not only are you learning, are you learning about the environment, just by seeing what these objects are, but you're also, it develops the characters, just by examining stuff in the environment. I feel like sometimes developing the characters uh, through examining objects and just hearing their comments about them is actually where maybe even most or a heck of a lot of the character development in adventure games comes from. Which is a realization that kind of surprised me. That so much of the character development is not during conversations with other people necessarily, but sometimes it's just through their responses to everything that you're looking at. You know, one of, the, one of my favorite things to do in adventure games is just examine every object in someone's home. Sometimes, like in this case, it's the the home of the person you're playing as, but sometimes it's someone else's home. Either way, regardless, it tells you a lot about people, about yourself, about the person who owns, you know, the home or the objects in it, and stuff like that. It's, it's so wonderful for building the characters. It's really extraordinary how much character development can come just from their comments about something that they see, but really so much of it does come from that. It's wonderful. My old notepad. I went through dozens of these before I upgraded to this phone. Even that little comment right there tells me that she upgraded to a phone and stopped using the notepad from long ago. You know, that kind of world builds as well. Technology has come along. Phones, you know, smartphones are now super common. And all of that just from examining a notepad. It's wonderful. And having to talk with people so extensively, as you often have to do in adventure games just to solve the puzzles and continue on, also is obviously just wonderful for developing the characters, because you have to talk with them. It's really great. See, so yeah, adventure games are great at building... or the adventure game framework is great at building characters and stories and a sense of actually being in a place, for real. And another thing adventure games are really great at, actually, is the representation of women. Which is something that's come up a lot in the news recently, especially with a lot of AAA games. And with all that coming out, I, I got to thinking about how adventure games deal with that, and I realized that they're actually really great at representing women. In fact, some of the best adventure game series actually have women as the main character. 
for example, right here, the Blackwell series, one of the best adventure game series ever, has Rosa Rosangela Blackwell as the main character. One of my other most favorite and one of the most well-respected adventure game series is The Longest Journey, which has April Ryan as the main character. That was an extraordinary game and an extraordinary series, which will probably go on to be even more extraordinary with the release of Dreamfall chapters, I'm hoping. And it's not just women, I think adventure games are great at just having diversity in general amongst their characters. And I think the reason for that is probably because they focus on story and characters so much, which I think just naturally leads to a more diverse cast because that simply leads to more interesting stories. And that's why, despite the frustrations, I keep coming back to adventure games. They just give me something I don't typically get in other games. They're pretty damn cool. 